So you you were born performer? Yes. And then I would go, three little kittens, three little kittens lost their mittens and they began to cry. Oh, mother dear, we're in such a fear. We lost our mitten. What? Lost your mittens? You naughty kittens. You shall have no pie. All the 12 doctors uh, actually found this thing in different places. So they would mark every, every, every doctor. Oh, okay. Would say, okay, it's here. And then he would mark. Oh. Then the next one comes and says, no, I've... It's here. It's no longer there. No, it's no longer there. It's somewhere else. King King David Studio Podcast. It's such a pleasure. You know, very often we host people here whom we are happy to have. Uh, but today we are double happy, if there's yeah. anything like that. <laughs> wow, man. Uh, thank you so much for making it. You know, we. it's such a... I'm so happy. Like, I'm seeing you for the first time in real life. You're a real human being. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> and your, your, your joyous energy is, is there all the time. It's real. That's me. When, That's me. I am very young at heart. I can tell. Very young. It comes across quite immediately when one meets you that you are, you are there's en there's, energy is positive. Yeah. Where do you, where do you think you get it? Uh, where do I get it? Yes, this constant positive energy. I have a charger at home. What is it? Yeah. <laughs> I need it. What is it? I need it. So so do you charge overnight? Yeah, I charge. <laughs> I charge myself overnight. And it works? Yeah, but it's there all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Is I'm it, born like that. Yeah. And yeah. Is it is it is there some is it something you find in your family? This this my mother. Exactly the same. Exactly the same. She was exactly the same. Yeah. Yeah. And did you share life with her for long? Yeah, until she was 70. Whoa. She passed, yeah, 2003. Jeez, that's a long life. Yeah, yeah. Because you, you're not, uh, if we had to mention your age, you're not particularly young yourself. Yes, I am. I'm 72. And this... oh, hey, 27. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, sorry. Big mistake there. <laughs> Big mistake. 27. Yes. And more to come. Many more. Yes. And I think the media actually did this for, that for me. Yeah. When they said, rest in peace, Mam Nandi. Wow. And I was still here. They so, did that? Yes. So. When was this? I prepared for this. I didn't find that. <laughs> <laughs> when I was doing Zwede. Yeah. House of Sweden. Uh -huh. And then I died there. And people, act, I think I was very good. I think I was, <laughs> I did it <laughs> wow. extraordinary. And then people went, oh, Mom Nandi is dead. Oh, Mom Nandi has left us. That's crazy. But we used to do that in the 80s when we <laughs> thought what was happening on TV was happening in it's real life. It's still happening now. People take things for like <laughs> real. So they see you at a mall and they think you're a this ghost. Hey, boo. Don't to watch show them. That's crazy. Eh? That doesn't make sense at all. Yeah, so they gave me long life. And and the media then wrote it like that as well. Yes, and, and people did among um, uh, YouTube videos. Wow. Counting all the uh, celebrities and parliament people that have passed on. They said, now we've lost Mam Nandi at 71. Didn't our minister of uh, RIP uh, send a, a, a tweet? No, <laughs> they didn't. Because you're a Mazu minister. Hey. <laughs> so he didn't do that, No, he didn't, fortunately. Okay. So, so it means he verifies. At least now we know something about him. Good yeah, check. Oh, minister. Oh, not hey. yeah. I got two mails. Yeah, yeah I'm sure she I don't think big girl and gig. <laughs> wow. Where were you born, man? Sure. Yeah. Where was I born? Mm. I think I was born in East London. I think. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> why because. You, why do you think? Because my mother was young. Uh. Yeah. She was 18 when she okay. got me. Yeah. And most of my life, I was with my grandmother. Mm -hmm. Because my mother was an actress. Yeah. A tap dancer. Mm -hmm. And she traveled. I found that fascinating. When I was reading up, it's like, what? We'll talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was tap dancing in the 40s. But we'll talk yeah. about it. <laughs> yeah, and she went to Italy. She went, I mean, all over. Wow. Mm. And when you say you think, is, is it because 
that's the story you were told or it's because that's where for my younger you know yeah my younger self that's where i was okay yeah with my grandmother and at about 3 4 i used to go to school with my grandmother because she was a teacher okay so yeah. i would travel with her to school jeez and 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 now that surely must develop a language as well for the the area that you're at yeah and then you got Tosa. I got Tosa. Yeah. I got Tswana. I got Sutu. I mean, I lived everywhere. I, I, I know you moved to Klexdorp at some point. Even beyond Klexdorp. Yeah. I don't think people know what it is. A place called Mechdol. Yo, I, do I know Mechdol? Mechdol. Because we drive around. It's some yeah. of those towns you drive past. <laughs> and you don't check. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so I've been there. So why was your your grandma moving so much? It wasn't my grandmother. Yeah. Though. Yes, I was moving with my mother's sister, oh. elder sister, okay. because she was a a, a government teacher. Mm -hmm. I would say because the government would choose where she has to go with the husband. The husband was a principal, and my aunt was a teacher. Wow. So and the government would choose. Good, okay, now you'll move and go to this place. Mm -hmm. and then from here you'll move to go. You know, wow. this is how we moved around. Rather unusual, almost like uh, umfundi. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Ra rather unusual to be moved around like that because mm. normally you'll find a principal or a teacher they get based and we know them like we grew up knowing a principal banba in and, yeah. and, and so forth. And yeah. your your setup was different. It was very different because. The last time we ended up in in uh, West Fontaine, which is near Caltonville, <laughs> that doesn't make sense, eh? And and what does that do to your overall personality to be exposed to so much at such a relatively early age? Yeah, I th I think it actually widened my you know yeah my no view mm. and knowing Guti because we lived in places where you just White people, Burres. Mm -hmm. Yes. And Tina, you know, my, my aunt used to teach in the farm schools. Ah, okay. You see, yeah. Do you know what was her specialty? Which, which, what, what was she teaching? Yo, she was teaching everything. <laughs> <laughs> She's jack of all trades. Jack of all trades. And there's a part where I read about a, a six room, a six room, a six bedroom house. Tell me about that. Story. <laughs> what is that story about? <laughs> it's a it's a house that we built me and my aunt. I mean, I dug a foundation. I mean, right now I know how to actually make in lumina. Yeah, like a foundation and then make a ilendo is then with with mud. Ah, okay. You know that. Uh, Thing is, it's a machine. It's a, 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 it's machine a plank. Like it's thing. not yes, a machine. Yes. It's a plank thing. Okay. It's it's got two holes. Okay. So you make it, you it down, you, and then you uh, put it in there. You put it in there, and then you pull it out, and two bricks are there. And, and you then, wait for them to dry. You go when again. When they dry, you go and look for a, a massage to uh -huh. come and bend it, so oh, that yeah. you can make it. You know, even harder. Harder. You knew this. How old were you when you were doing this? Six years. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That's crazy. Where was this? <laughs> it was in Mechdo. Clearly, this place is important to your to your life history. It is. It's a pity I couldn't get there when we did some of my interviews with people. Okay. But, yeah. Let's go find Mechdo. Let's go and find Mechdo. Gee, did you did you complete this construction? Yes, and then we got some people to come by Fulele and put the roof in roof. Over. But we did it. And I used to go, uh, uh, once again, in Pompia Corner, it was those old taps that you, oh, yeah, yeah. you I pump see those. them. Yes, yeah. I see those. I used to go and fetch water there with a wheelbarrow. It, it says a lot about a, a six-year-old uh, How doing I mean, all of that. I mean, I used to cook at six. I had a little uh, bank stool that I put next to the uh, yeah, next to the stove. Ukibela. Ukibela, and I used to cook. It's child abuse today. It was. <laughs> it was, though. Yeah. It was child abuse. But we you seem to have embraced it. I think they taught me a lot. Even yeah. though when they thought to go to the... Treating me in Ganjani, but it gave me this. You think they were treating you badly, or they were just it, it was, empowering you? What do you no, see it now was in bad. hindsight? Yeah, it was bad. 
It wasn't it, ideal. It was bad because even doing all those things that I was doing, I was with uh, my aunt Lasbon La Mkolo at six years. Seven, eight, in looking pepper loom to analo. So, so <laughs> you're building a house, you're cooking, <laughs> you're, you're carrying a child on your back, and you're you're a kid. You're not even you're a you're a no, tiny little. I'm a tiny little thing. Yeah. I mean, I was this big. What were the circumstances that led to that? Because it it almost doesn't make sense. Well, I don't even know what was going on in their brains. Yeah, because. If I say give me an angel kibele, I'm showing in about five years. But the, you know the male bicycles, yes, I the see one with the yeah, with a with a, a straight frame. Yes, yeah. I used to go underneath like this, uh-huh. and then hold, and then go like this. <laughs> <laughs> wow, man! But who who were the people in your life at the time? Who your aunt mm. and who your husband? Yeah, her husband. husband yeah. And, yeah, and who else? And the little boy that that was there. That you were nursing. Yes, yes. Hi, my daughter. Why were my to lazy to themselves? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I used to wake up very early before they woke up, born. Yeah. Go and make sure Guti, the fire is ready, the water is ready for them to actually have a bath, uh-huh. tea, and then when they leave, I have to be ready now to be able to go, go to, to school. school. Let's talk about your school life. What do you remember at that early age? What what what? Where did you go to school? Do you even? Remember? I don't even remember the school the school names. Yes, because, because you because I was everywhere. Wow. Now let's talk about Mikdol because you had to pass. Yeah. And had to meet some people, make friends. Do you remember any? I don't remember because you, you were there for such little times. Yes. <laughs> everywhere. When you think you're settled now, everything is going good. Then you say, "Huck." Move. Let's go. Somewhere else. Okay. Try to see if you can remember some of the towns. Eastern Cape, McDoll. Where else? Klegsdorp. Klegsdorp. Yo, the others that I... Yeah. <laughs> crazy life. Because the, the last one that I know is in West Refontaine. Yeah. Which is near Caltonville. Were you there long? No, no. Because then my mother was in my life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you know, Guti, I had I had a terrible time with my aunt. Yeah. And uh, she actually treated me, you know, like her, or her slave or whatever. Whoa. And I used to write letters to my mother. Uh. But I used to go in the coal shed. Okay. And we had uh, Ama Lendo, Ama these big calls that you have to, you know, oh, yes, yeah, yes. to hit them. So, so they, get, write, they get warmer yeah. and warmer, yes. Mm, uh, so that they can get more. Yes, so it's a big stone. So I would write letters to my mother and telling her how um, I'm living here oh. and all that and then put that. And then I knew because the letters were safe. Nobody's going to actually open that. Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> so I would put it underneath there and I said, please deliver this to my mother. It would get there. No, I mean it's under the it's under the stone. What were you thinking when you were doing that? I I I thought I thought really thought Guti, these letters will go. Did she ever get exposed to any of no. any of the letters? No. Did she ever get exposed to the truth about how you were raised? My mother. Yeah. I took them out when now I knew Guti, I'm going to be with my mother. Yeah. That's when I mean when I when my mother bought me new clothes when she comes and then bring you I wouldn't wear them. They made a dress with a, a cloth like sail, you yes, know, like I can see that. Yeah, yeah. Isaka. Yes, yeah. she made something like that, and I never wore shoes in the house. My shoes were outside all the time, and we used to call that dress Iskwaba Kwich because everywhere you you go, it's go. It ends the sound. Yeah, mm, the same Squaba Kwich. And the new clothes, why were you not wearing them? You're not allowed. No, I was not allowed. Where's your aunt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your aunt is. Uh... She's passed on. Yeah, 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 yeah. She, And it was difficult for her to pass on. They had to come and call me. Tell me about that. <laughs> she, they had to call me because she kept on saying, "Can you please call Nandi for me?" So she she stayed. When she, you say it was difficult, you're basically saying she wouldn't let go. Even God wanted wanted her to talk to me about all these things. But when I got there, I said, "Ay, mumkulu gandin." Ay. 
and you I forgive you, are, you. You are obviously much, much older. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's. She passed on four years ago at 93. It's now. It's very no, recent. No, no, no. It's not very long. And then I just went there and I said, uh-uh, I forgive you. It's fine. No, and I forgave you long ago. No conversation took place. She didn't want to say anything. Even be, way before that. Yeah. <laughs> we pause here because I am fascinated <laughs> by this, the, the story that how do you get raised like that and you you still have this radiant happy personality well you know sometimes as news in you have to actually tell yourself a oh, good i think they were preparing me for things because there's so many things that have happened mm. and i managed to actually handle them and you're saying if it wasn't for that they would have probably, probably seemed much yes, bigger probably i would have been an alcoholic Jeez. because trying to actually get through my life mm. I would have been an alcoholic. Sure. But it ma they made me very strong. Yeah. Mm. Let, let's talk about how, how long you live with your aunt and the moment where you have to separate. Where now you're saying uh, your mom is back, I assume. Mm. Yeah. How, how long was that? <laughs> First, I got, I got uh, Elendo because sometimes she would, she would actually say, you're not coming into the house. And I got Elendo. E I had I actually got very cold mm. and I my thigh yeah. was like swollen. This this uh, uh vein, mm. you know, it was swollen, it was big, and then I had to go to the hospital. When I got to the hospital, they said to her, Well, we have to amputate because it won't and I refused. <laughs> I refused because they wanted to amputate my leg. Mm. And then fortunately the other doctor said, no, let's put cast and then see what happens. And it, it actually got, got better. better. Mm. And she was saying, just cut, cut it, it off. Cut it off. And here we're dealing with a relatively educated person. Very educated. Yeah. We're not dealing with... No. <laughs> and then I left my mother now when she settled here. She worked as a domestic worker. Uh. And this is when I was 12 years old. Where is Ubaba? And I mean Ubaba by, I'm referring to the principal when all of this is happening. He's there. He's watching all of Actually, this. Actually, nah, we don't get on top of all those things that is happening. Okay. I want to talk happy things for a second. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just for a second. Your mom's kept dancing and, and, and I hear daddy also has some, some talents. Boxer. He's a boxer. Yes. He was a boxer. The mom tap dancing. How did you find out that the mom was busy doing all these things? Well, I found out because Ulendo, uh, my cousin's sister, Uvuiswa, mm. because she was older than me. So she knew because I always ask, Kanti, lo mama, lo guto mama, upi, what's happening? Yes. And then she told me, Guti, no, she's overseas. I've got pictures, Zaki, apparently, in this gama, where she used to travel. <laughs> and how did do you ever find out how she got these incredible opportunities no, so I many never. years ago. I never. Because those are times when even when Yeah, and even when travel for traveling, how did they do it? I don't know. To get onto a plane, you needed a special permit. A special, yes, sure. yes. I don't know how, how, how it happened. So you clearly took this uh, artistic flair from, from her. Yes. Tap dancing. Yo. What else what was she into? She was in uh, some plays as well. <laughs> because she was, she was a star. <laughs> she was. Because me, now, how I started is the there was a guy, uh, uh, an author, mm. Usol Rachilo. Okay. So he came with a script to my mother. He says, listen, I have the script and I would like to work with you because we are going to be traveling and all that. Uh -huh. And then my mother said, no, I'm enough. Here's a new person that you can try. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. She was done. She was tired. She was done. She was done. She actually just wanted to be a mother. Yes. Yeah, she wanted to. And actually... you were already relatively older at the time. I was older and I had a child that they had to actually hide from the community. So, yes. yeah. Wow, man. Your life is a movie. 
No, it's a telenovela, darling. Absolutely. It's a telenovela. It could be told for a while. <laughs> for a long time. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'll be, my, my jaw will be on the floor, better part of it. But let's carry on. <laughs> let's carry on. Now, 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 you're 12. Where do you guys live with your mom, who's now a domestic worker? I lived with uh, some of my relatives. Mm. Em Zimtlopi. Okay. Mm. Yeah. And I used to go to school e e lendo e Orlando, Orlando okay. East. Yeah. And school was a conasas bizwa e lendo e machin. Yeah. So that's where I went to school. Let's take a detour back, and I apologize for this. You you went to school when you were living with your aunt. You yes. were going to school. At least that part was. Yes. Happening. Yes, that part was happening. That's why you were able to read and write and write letters. Yes. 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 That part was happening. And now you come to the bright lights of 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 Gauteng. Of Gauteng, sir. Yes. Yes. Sir. You're living with mommy. No, she's in in uh, Makichini. She's yes. a domestic worker. We're not allowed to go and stay there. Of course. That, that that's the time when yes. those things were not possible. We're not possible. At she all. would and she would probably live there. Yeah, she lived there. And, only and we come. had to go and visit sometimes. Yeah. And fortunately, because it was uh, the people that she worked for were people that came here from England. Okay. So their view So was... they, were, they were lenient. They wanted uh -huh. us to be there, you know, like yeah. every weekend okay. to come and see our mother, my mother. To come and see my mother. At least, yeah. Yeah. It wasn't a, the type where you see, see her once a month. Yeah, no, no. They were really lenient. Yeah. yeah. And 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 you say you had siblings as well. Well, my siblings came later. Yeah. Yeah, came very very late. When you were already here. <laughs> yes. In Gauteng, yes. How was the experience of living in um, in Soweto? What do you remember from the transition of of that girl that was wearing a sack and cleaning and doing all all these things to this life? What type of change what did you experience? A lot because still when my mother decided she wants to move from uh, Elento, mm. from town. Yeah. So we had to come in now, live everywhere Oof. in Soweto. Yeah, like, yes. is it back because, rooms? Is it, yes. Yeah. Not even back rooms. We lived, I don't know, in a, in a house with people. Yeah, my dot. And because then there were no back rooms. There were yeah. no, you know. In four room and four room yeah. and then we lived in one of the rooms and other families in the other room and yeah. So we lived in Shawelo, we lived in Snawane, we lived in in Cliptown. Mm -hmm. And in Cliptown we lived in a shop. <laughs> <laughs> that was our house. A shop. She was clearly hustling, trying to make make a living. Yes. Does it get better? Does your story get better? Well, my so far, it doesn't sound like it. No, it does. It yes. does. It does get better because uh, in 1971, then we, my mother actually, before 71, mm. they actually uh, registered okay. to get a house. And then they got the house at Ndeni. No Baba. Yes. The boxer. Yes. Was he a famous boxer? She was. A, he was a famous boxer. He was. He was known. If we dig through the files, we will yeah. find something. You will find something because he was called Spiderweb. <laughs> Did you ever find out why? He was because Spider one first people are dead. And I yes, and uh, he was a friend with the Stumo, the, yes. the box, the old boxer. Whoa! Yes, no kangaroo uh. or roo. Roo is the name I can And and this was a time when those things they were careers, but not really. Not really. You were just a boxer, famous people like watching you and, like then you, get, you and yeah. then you go to work. And then maybe you get that five hundred rand or that whatever day. for that day, and then you still have to it. go to work. Yes. Do you remember what else he did? He he worked he worked as a as a because my my father was not educated. Uh, uh. I taught him I taught him how to write wow. and read. So so in those early years he was doing what type of work? He, he was working like a security, uh -huh. all those kind of work. Manchingilan. Manchingilan, Baba. A boxer that is Manchingilan. Well, we have a we have a, a Manchingilan that won the Comrades Marathon a few weeks ago. You see, <laughs> you see so it, I guess anything is possible. Anything is possible. And and now now you have a home. 
right? Yes. With with mommy and daddy. Yeah. And sisters, sister is are they sister, there already? Yes, because uh, the brother that actually came after me yeah. was in 1966, and he passed on Ooh. at six months. Oh, that's so sad. And then 1968, my sister got born. Yeah. Dungu, 68. Uh -huh. And then my other brother at 71. My other brother at 72, he was born yesterday. Wow, you remember them so nicely. Yeah. In <laughs> Tuana. <laughs> 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 and then we had to go and f uh, and and uh, my father went to go and fetch his son from mm. a girlfriend oh, to boy. come and live yes. with us. You know, normally it's like, yes, ungena between uba no bani. Yeah, no, no, yeah, ne bem tala. No, no, he wasn't older than me. Yes. Yeah, he was uh, younger than me. Yeah. So that means my dad was like, wait, leva. Too much. Oh, sir. <laughs> Poor guy. Yeah. Couldn't help himself. <laughs> he was famous. <laughs> famous, tricky. <laughs> so, but, but I, I'm also curious to know the age gap between you. And your siblings is is quite significant. Very, very. What role do you play at that early age uh, in their lives? Do you immediately become the older sister who's oh. almost behaves like a mother? And the thing is, I was a thug, actually. Please tell us. My dad taught me so many things mm -hmm. because he used to go with all the, you know, clevers, oh, um, so me gang, oh, yeah, boy, all those kind of people. So, so, he taught, it, yeah. so he taught me things and he made weapons for me and he taught me boxing. Why? Did I was his sparring partner. Why did he see the need to do that? Because I'm the only one. And if <laughs> others coming, then I have to be there for them. <laughs> <laughs> Story gets more interesting. Now you're a boxer. <laughs> he probably has a knife. Yes, and he made he made knives with rulers. You see these um, for I think they're for for uh, the people that the builders and oh, all yes, that. Oh yes, the you steel. See, they, the, yeah, yes. the steel. Yeah. And then it, you have to measure. You have to. Uh -huh, you have yeah. to measure and all that. So and then he would sharpen those, and it's both sides, right? And at him to anam. Ati, wherever you go. We in so way to Ezola. You have to travel, yes. Or he made he 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 made at Ilendo. There's a this silver silver uh, yeah. ball. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a steel, steel ball. Yes. yes. You put it in two socks or three socks. And, uh, and we used to call it Uklitins. Because that's crazy. Very. Yeah, bulala <laughs> yeah. So I used to travel with that, and I did it once. On somebody else who wanted, we came back on my back and then went like that, and I just went. Joe. I left him. I left him there. <laughs> and <laughs> you don't even know their intention because you never got a chance. No. <laughs> to speak to them, what you went on. I don't wait for them to so, tell so, me. So your dad's lesson did come in handy. Yes. Least. Yes. Was so way to really as dangerous as as he prepared you for? Yes, it was. It uh, was. There was a guy called Opa. Mm. Opa had kids everywhere, from Zola to Mdeni to everywhere. And I was the only one mm. that he hadn't actually got. As a, so, as a girlfriend? As a girlfriend. Okay. okay. So one day we meet in uh, a shop called Gwaminj. Mm. And then he says, yeah, today I got you. And the, mind you, he had a girlfriend back opposite hey, my, my house yeah. with a child. So funumuni. So funamina, I imagine. Wow. So, and fortunately, I had that ruler with me, and I was with my cousin sister. Hey. So, he stops us. Yeah? Mm. I got you today. Cho -cho. Say, okay. So, <laughs> do, do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Hey. Here are yeah. people who don't know who they are. Yes. <laughs> do, you wanna, do, you know, do you know who I am? Uh. He says, man, I'm Opa. So, I'm Oma. So, <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine this confrontation. You're clearly quite brave. And with a lot of friends. He was with lots of guys there. Yeah. And it was just the two of me, us, yeah. me and my cousin sister. <laughs> and then he says, yeah, but today I want to show you, Guti, who is strong. I'm like, okay, no problem. That's crazy. So he wanted to grab me and I did this with my ruler and he held it and I went... <laughs> 
Oh. And then it went. That ruler worked. Yes. And then he actually he dropped must, my man. <laughs> he bled, obviously. Yes. And the friends laughed at him. Oh. They said, today you really met Omar. Yeah, you met yes, your match. you met your match today. That's just crazy. Wow, what a life. We can stop here. <laughs> <laughs> we can stop here. There's just such a fascinating life already. Yo. So he never bothered you again. Never. He knew it. He knew it. Uh -uh, you don't play there. Being that brave, was it your dad's training or is it something that you just had somewhere inside of you? I think it's something that I had plus my father's training. Yeah. And because every time you say, if you if you meet somebody that want to harm you now, because at seventeen, I got, you know, mm. but now because I was a little bit older, yeah. Then he used to say to me, "Listen, whenever somebody yeah. comes to you, just be calm. Mm. Be calm. Mm. Just talk to them like, which is you what know, you did with yes, this guy. Yes, yes, yeah. And all of them, I did that because there's one who nearly swallowed his penis." Sorry about the word. No, sorry. No, no, the words, the words are, are allowed here. The words are allowed. I'm just thrown off. <laughs> yeah, I'm just thrown off by all of this. Mm. My dad made me very, very strong. Do you want to tell us about the penis? Because <laughs> <laughs> everybody's curious now. Okay, I used to jog from uh, Mdin mm. to the market theater okay. every day. And it's not a short jog. No, it's not. Mdeni, it's like 45 Jeez. minutes or so. You were quite fit. <laughs> I was. Yeah. So one day I forgot my towel and my everything. So mm. when I, at, I was at the Diagonal Street, I got into one shop. Mm. Then I thought, okay, let me just buy yes. towel and everything. As I was on the, you know, on the counter, they're doing things. Here comes this guy. I say, yeah. I see you every day when I'm jogging. Huh. You want to be strong? Are you doing this to actually be stronger than men? And I said, no. why no? I'm no. just skipping fit. He says, well, I want to show you, Guti. Today, I'm taking you and I'm going to rape you. I said, really? Okay, huh. fine. Such a candid approach to yes. all of this. Yes. But okay, fine. Let's just go and rape each other and then you let me go home. Huh. Where I where I am supposed to go? Were you threatened by by this moment? No, or, yeah. I was so calm. I was so so calm, and then I said to him, "Listen, okay, let me just take my things and put my things in my bag." Oh. And what I did is I took my bag from the counter. I put it on the floor. Yeah, you know what I'm doing. That is, I'm sizing him. Oh. Oh. I put it on the floor and I took the things and I'm. And I'm looking, I'm looking at him and says, ah, this is a stupid thing. <laughs> and I closed my bag. As I was coming up, uh. he held me like this and my hands were free. You know? Yes, so he held you. Yeah. In, yeah. With, yes, with yes. my hands like exactly. this. I can see that. I dropped my bag. Yeah. Ha! I beat him here. And then while I actually have my teeth here, undid the belt, everything, and I just went... <sighs> With underpants and all. And I had the hundred here on my hand in my mm, hand. Mm. And when I squeezed and pulled, and then I went, <clears throat> and then a piece of meat came out of here. Whoa. And then he felt it was like and you know, before all that, the people that were in the shop, they say, Yeah, yeah. They they chow your monies, guys, and then they run away. Take her, take her. And when it was my chance. When he was lying down and I went on my knees, it was out there. In the and open. I, and I got it. Whoa, I can feel the pain. <laughs> and the thing is, he had no tears. He had, but he was like, <gasps> and I wanted to cut it off mm. and put it in the mouth and let it swallow, let him swallow it. But the thing is, he, he, he didn't. He, I couldn't because that thing is hard. <laughs> it needs a sharp knife to go. <laughs> Not with teeth. What a moment. Yeah. 
What a what a moment. It was terrible when I got there. I don't know how many times I vomited. Mm. Trying to clean my mouth. Trying I didn't know whether he's got diseases or whatever, but because I've saved my life. I don't understand how the people were on his side. At first they were they were on his side. Uh. And then when it was my turn, they said, Hi oh, man, please, look, he's dying. Oh, please forgive him, please. How my daughter. And I said, I'm going to forgive him when he swallow his penis. Mm. That's when I'm going to forgive him. Wow. But I couldn't cut it off. Yeah. But wherever he is, he, when he sees me on television, he switches off immediately. Yeah, good. And I'm sure no koskazi abuzut. Why am I so dangang galo, mom? Why? Was it a, a young person? Yes, it was a young person. Wow, oh, man. Wow, you, yeah, I know, your life gets more, the layers. I wonder if there's more, <laughs> surely there must there's be. There's more, it's just that others, um, I'm not, I haven't spoken about them, but there's more. You know, the, the culture of, of, of what we exist with now, with men behaving like they, they own everyone, particularly women, surely that behavior was reflected with this guy. Yes. And that, that early on, was that something that was, prevalent and, and seen all around. Is yes. all, all, so surely this problem, we, we've been carrying it for a long, long time. Yeah. We've been carrying it for a long time because I was raped at 17. Wow. Ah, <laughs> your life is heavy. <laughs> and look, you have a smile on your face. Yeah. <laughs> I got healed long ago and I thought, well, forgive, forgive. Because you carry, you carry that thing in your heart. Mm. It just kills you. Where did you find the healing? Where, what, where do you find it? Because clearly, if you're saying you got healed a long time ago, something must have happened to it's, you that made you... That's speaking about it. Yeah. Mm. And the thing is, it was not a, a very easy thing because I got pregnant mm, mm. and my parents didn't believe that I was raped. Ooh. They thought, yeah, you're starting to play with boys. Oh, Papa. Yeah. Jeez. And then I went and lived with families that I don't even know. Was it because the family did not want you there? No, my, my, my parents did not want people, the people around know that Guti, I'm pregnant. You're pregnant, yeah. So when they, they will tell them, Guti, I don't know, is at boarding school. Your mom also, you said, uh, gave birth to you when she was relatively young. Yes, yeah, she was 18. And the same repeats itself in your life. But why was she why was she committed to hiding this? Well, because she's forgotten, I think, that she got pregnant at 18. Yes, same same, same thing. Same thing. Yeah. Probably she forgotten and she thought I'm I'm a disgrace. And Ubaba, this this the, the boxer who's such an important figure in your life? Oh, he was sweet man. He was a sweet man. Very sweet. Yeah. He made sure Gutinje I even when they went and and Ngashale David Horn with the family that I didn't even know, mm. uh, he would come, but my mother never came. Probably didn't didn't even know that he was visiting you. No, I don't think he yeah. actually told her. How was his reaction? I think the answer is given already. You told us because he was st a part of your life, even in that moment of disgrace. Yes. Uh, but what conversation was he having with you? He's just, he just told me with him that um, these things happen. Because I think he knew. Because, oh, mama, this, this man mm. was my stepdad. Whew. I don't even know who my dad is. Yeah. This, this, this gentle this giant. This gentle giant was my stepdad. Yeah. Who made sure that my life is easy. He used to, because we used to travel with train. Mm. He would take me to the station, make sure that I'm in the train, going to school. Jeez, man, if you're a praying person, clearly he was a, an, answer, an answer to a prayer. Yes. Because with all the hardship, you still get a complete stranger in, in the bigger scheme of things. The, yes. Who's the one who's rescuing you? He's rescued my life, that man. Wow. Now you're in Daviton. You're pregnant. Uh, what happens? You give birth, obviously. <laughs> I didn't even know what was happening with my... My body, Your body, yes. Because they don't talk to me. These people that I live with, they don't say anything. And so when when I got my lento, my pains, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I thought, no, I'm sure I, it's inyongo or something. Yeah. So I took a laxative, and this old woman says, 
what did you do? I said, well, I, my stomach was sore and then I actually drank and my lungs. I said, mm. hey, you will kill the baby. And It's only then. It's only then that they realized that I, I was in labor. Oh, you were even in labor at that time. At that time. I thought you were just, uh, you no, know. No, I, I was in labor. Was, did you give birth there or was it? No, they had to actually take me to the Davidton Hospital. That story as well is, it's so gory, you won't understand, but yeah. The story of giving birth to my son, my eldest son. Well, he he lived, I guess. Yeah, he lived. That's all that but, matters. But I stayed in hospital when my my uh, aunt came. Uh, yes. When I was young and took my son. Hey. I never breastfeeded him. Wait a minute. We can't have this 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 character return in the movie. We all don't like this character well, this by character, now. Oh, this character came back. And and we again. Uh, you know, uh, it's a new episode now, we again. Yeah, yeah, and I think they were learned to know my mom. Yeah. Well, and then why do they take the child away from Because you? I have to come back. And be a child and again. And be a child from boarding school. And <laughs> where do they take the child? To Ireland, uh, West Refundane. Yeah. Wait a minute. Uh, Anyone who's watching this know that we don't want this. Well, but she actually raised my son so well. Not like he she did to me. How in the world does that even happen? I think he, she was trying to actually make up. Make up for what she did to me. How long were they together for? Until he was seven years old. That's a long time. That's a long time. When I decided, I went to my mother and said, I want my son. Actually, I'm curious to know that a 17-year-old, what was a 17-year-old saying at that time about one having given birth to the child is not here? Did you want your child immediately after birth or? No, I was not allowed to even talk about him. Ooh, it was taboo. It was you yeah. never. These people here are not supposed to know. That you fell pregnant. Yes. And there's the child away, but eventually you say you want your child. Eventually, I just got mad and I said, <laughs> <laughs> I want my child. I don't care about you. I don't care. I want my son. Wow. It was difficult for him as well to say mama because his mother was my aunt. You never met your child between giving birth to the time you went to fetch. No, I went. I went and, and actually visited. Sorry, as a mother or as a sister? As a, as, as a cousin. As a sister. cousin, yeah. <laughs> because they never told him, Uguti, this is your mother. I wonder if that, that story is common. It is, actually, because some uh, kids actually call their grandmothers Uma, mama. Yeah. Mm. I I I I read of a, or rather I, I I had somebody on the radio who told a very similar story, but their circumstances slightly different. They moved to Joburg looking for a job after having fell, fallen pregnant, and the child is is left Kohai in Limpopo. They are in Johannesburg living the life. Meets a guy, uh, doesn't want to tell the guy that I have a child back home. Mm. Uh, so they marry with this guy. Always goes back home with this gentleman. When they get there. Greets the child as a as, as a, a brother, as a brother or, exactly, or a eh. and it carries on like that forever. I don't know where the story is now because it's a continuing story. <laughs> wow! And now you now you're you're. What happens to your schooling? Boarding school, I need, I need to move. Yeah, I actually had to go to Botswana, where my dad comes from. Your story has Botswana. Yeah, my. <laughs> <laughs> okay, keep going. <laughs> We keep getting new. It is a it is a telenovela. <laughs> so Botswana too, mm. because they were tired of traveling here and here with me. So I had to go and live with my my uh, aunt. Botswana is by the side, mm. yeah. Father's side. Where they? Where, what was that experience? How was that experience? Very bad. As well. Yes. Who are these people? I don't even know. Did you live with them long? Yes, yes. I I lived with them for because I came back when I was sixty. Mm. 
because now it was just getting out of hand. What was so bad about that experience? I, I had to cook, I had to do things on my I have okay. to go and fetch water and go and look for wood. You were again doing this yes. thing. Yes. <laughs> How do you get rescued from this one? I actually actually said to my mother, Mina, I'm done. Yeah. I'm done. I Being a slave of this house. <laughs> yeah, I came back. Now Joburg life. Yes. <laughs> but when I get to Joburg, I got raped. And now pregnancy. And now pregnancy and, and all that. And now you, you, you're living, you're living, because I'm interested in the time between the pregnancy, giving birth and fetching the child. What is happening in your life? I'm busy doing, you know, little things like acting here, yeah. acting there. With Sol Rachilo, we're traveling and all that until I went to the market theater. How did you get exposed to acting? You said it's that moment when your mom said, I'm not... Yes, that's when I started. That's when I went. But I used to actually uh, do sketches at, at, at school. Uh. Yeah, I'm being papa, I'm in a shame. Huh. I'm, I'm thinking about the challenges that your life is facing and you're papa in the middle of all of them. <laughs> like, where do you find the time? <laughs> <laughs> papa. Because <laughs> you clearly found it. Yes, I... I don't know. I'm another breed. I don't know why. <laughs> yes, clearly. Eh? Uh, and the thing is, I think I'm too nice or something. I don't know. Now, Ukpapa Gwako, was it, were you seeing a career in Ukpapa? Or in Jewia Pap? No, I used to Papa when I was three years. I mean, all the, the, I need to miss Bizomara station mm -hmm, mm -hmm. those years. Mm. So I used to do them at three. And people would stop me at the, you know, in the street with my cousin's sister. Then they would ask me to actually perform for them. <laughs> so you, you were born performer? Yes. And then I would go, three little kittens, three little kittens lost their mittens. And they began to cry. Oh, mother dear, we're in such a fear. We lost our mitten. What? Lost your mittens? You naughty kittens. You shall have no pie. Wow. I used to have. And you were. And I was three years old. <laughs> no, but when I, you followed your calling very early, yeah, I know. Yeah, I, you wouldn't have done anything else. I don't see myself doing anything because I tried. I was about when, to ask when, when there was no nothing happening. Yeah, I went to go and work for a a a, a Lindon, um, Robinson, mm -hmm. a, 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 a place where they used to do. Patches for okay. for uh, my tires, ah, and this is geez. where I cut my my oh, finger so with it, a guillotine. It's been injured since. Yeah, <laughs> right. it was God's word saying <laughs> ufunan. <laughs> ufunan. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And then for your compensation, I think I got forty rands. For that forty rands. Yes. Mataskis. Mataskis. And forty rands put me while I did. <laughs> Jeez, and 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 now, what what the other aspirations? You know, young people, whether right or wrong, they have something that they're thinking of when they see their life. Uh, when you were that young, seventeen, eighteen, what were you seeing as a future? Uh, I I saw myself as as a as a secretary. Jeez, why why? That? Because I went to go into the there's the then. Uh, there was a shorthand. Mm -hmm. You have to go and learn shorthand and all that. Yeah. Yeah, and typing and yeah. So I did that. Okay. And I think for a while I just thought, I think I'm lost here. You did do this, 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 this. Do you get a job? I went a... no. Okay. I went to school, but yeah. while I was doing that schooling and all that, I felt, mm, nah. I think I'm in the wrong place. Mm. You know? It just but didn't feel right. It didn't feel right. Yeah. You know? But was there anything else calling your attention? Well, okay. fortunately with this, because I just wanted to go and act. Yeah. I just wanted to do acting. I didn't even know where to go I'm, I'm, until I'm, this man came. I'm curious to know, besides your mom, what who, who else were you seeing that was doing this career that you wanted? This guy who came, who as a writer. Yeah. Who came because he was my my uh, he was a family friend. Okay, was Sol Rachilo. Mm. Yeah, he was a family friend, and they knew each other from years ago. So I used to see this man, yeah. you know, and oh Sol, Sol was like 
a performer. Mm. So anything that he was, you know, explaining, he would go. <laughs> and I would actually admire him and say, yeah, yeah, I wish I could be like that. Yeah. Yeah. And and clearly now and, the dream gets bigger in your head. Yes. Did you cut short this visit to the secretary school? Yes, I cut short. I told them, nah, I'm not going there anymore. What happens to your life the day after? But then I I got very sick. Mm-hmm. Very, very sick. And um, I was at Baragwanath Hospital okay. for, I think, six months. Jeez. And they couldn't find Uguti what was wrong with me. Mm. And I had about 12 doctors because they were supposed to actually have operated on me. Yeah. But all the 12 doctors uh, actually found this thing in different places. So they would mark every, every, every doctor. Mm, would you... say, okay, it's here. And then he would mark. Mm. Then the next one comes and says, no, I've, it's here. It's no longer there. No, it's no longer there. It's somewhere else. And... Um, the my urine uh-huh. had sand. What was I, happening? I don't know. And even, even now, you still don't know what was happening then. Even now, I don't know. Wow. <laughs> and they had my my urine uh, on the window sill uh. on top of my bed, and the sand was that what much, and the urine was up here, and it was red. Whoa. And nobody could explain. Nobody it. could explain. And the doctor says, no, nah, we can't operate. Go and look somewhere else. Not here. When they say go and look somewhere else, but in. <laughs> when my mother actually went and find Ilendo U, Umundo Traditional Zubu, healer. Traditional yeah. healer. The traditional healer says, uh-uh, this child, uh, you. and no one is going to actually be able to help her here. Mm. And I had to go to Zanini. And you get the... <laughs> and I didn't even know it's, it's, it's Tsonga, ne? Mm-hmm. That's where I learned Tsonga. Were you there a while? For, enough? Yes, enough to actually be able to, to because up. when I got there, if I want some water, I would go... Kumbela. Uh-uh, <laughs> oh, I couldn't. didn't even, I couldn't. Until every time they would say, Kumbela mat, ne tuandlala. Jalo belo kubeng fundisa. That's how I learned. <laughs> Your story is amazing. Okay, now you are in Zanin. <laughs> we spoke about Botswana. <laughs> now you are in Zanin. <laughs> wow, and long enough to learn the language. How do they solve your problem? That that man did. He did whatever he had he to do. He did what he did, and something came out. You know. Ooh. And uh, they actually put some stuff on me, like bangles and all that. Uh. Where they clearly saying, you are You one are of now us. one of us. Yeah. When I got home, because, yes, I went there because I just wanted to be healed. Mm. These things got lost in my bedroom. How they got out, nobody knows. We looked everywhere and we never found them. And you moved and on. And that's it. You moved on with I moved life. on. Did you at that time think maybe you should take up this path? No, I didn't. I just carried on because I wanted to be on stage. This is where I want to be. And it actually got to my daughter. Yeah. Mm. What do you mean by that? Uh, it went over to my daughter in Ngoma. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I didn't know you could pass it on. <laughs> I like that idea. Well, it it, it just never happened. Stayed, it never stayed with you. Yeah, it happened because I didn't I didn't carry yeah. it on. And is she practicing? Yes. Proudly and happily. Proudly and happily. Okay, at least it stayed in the family. Yeah. You never lost it completely. <laughs> Jeez. I I, I want to know about I want to talk about happy stuff, man. <laughs> like it's happy stuff for me. I guess. <laughs> I'm curious about about your 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 first big break. Well, it's at the market theater. Uh. When I go to the market theater, okay, and there there were a lot of uh, directors and authors, and you know, mm. and I started there as an usher. Okay, so I used to usher people inside the theaters and all that with dreams. Yes, to... with dream, but now I'm there. 
Uh. I know it will happen. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get the, the the Asha gig? Do you remember? Yes, I went. I I went there to go and look for work mm. because I heard Guti. There's a place called Market Theatre, and you know, and it, my taxi then it was like fifty cents. Yeah, it was. Yeah, to go to town. Yes, and then I used to earn eleven rent a mm. week. So yeah. I started ushering and then I carried on with ushering and then I went and work, worked at the Market Theatre Bar. Okay. You know, hey, all the years. Your life's getting better. My life is actually. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at the bar now. How? And, and uh, at bar, that's when I managed to actually speak to the directors. Yes. Be able to, you know. Yeah. And so one day, the Asha, they are they are too far. Yeah, they're too far because you just get them in and mm, that's it. Yeah. You know? So now at the bar, I'm giving them drinks and I'm being introduced to them <laughs> and all that. Jeez. So that's where it started. And then I, I met U Benji Francis, who was a director. Mm. And then he says, Yo, I would like to work with you. And what I did went. what did what did Ben see? He just, he just saw me going. Because Papa, Papa, falling Papa has. And the thing is, they used to actually call me Fire, because there was because there was fire. We, at breaks because we had we've got three the theaters in Market Theatre. Yeah. So at breaks, probably it'll be the first one. It'll be the big theater, and then the lager, and then maybe upstairs. Yeah. Oh, they're so, obviously not happening at the same at time. at the same time. Yeah. yeah. So. For the next one to come out, these ones will be done. Mm -hmm. So I used to actually know who drinks what. <laughs> Every time when they when they come, they're ready. Mm. Quick, 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 quick. Give them, give them, give them. And then this is what you saw. But see, this one is not like everybody. Yeah. This yeah. one has got something. Huh. Then we worked, like we show about Africa. With Benji Francis, getting that opportunity was it was it difficult? And I, by this I mean, cause did you have to audition? No, you no, because said, he just said you are you are good for this part. Yeah, and that's how I started. Was it a decent part? Very, with very. lines. Yes, and all. yes. And then I met another one called Fiona Ramsey. Mm. It's just she passed on. She passed on, and then she says, "Well, I'm doing Romeo and Juliet. You the nurse." <laughs> <laughs> so it just used to happen like that. These were were coming your way with no training. No training. You were just no training at all. Where where were you drawing your, this ability to to execute? The work? I really don't know where it came from. Yeah. And I mean, even now, a script. I looked at it and I I have to read everything that is there mm. so that I can understand where the the story goes. Yeah. And then I'll be able to know, okay, this woman is this, this woman is that. And me, and I, all the time when I get Elendo, I want to know about the woman that I'm playing. Ah. Give me a bio of that person. Don't just say... Don't just say, here's a Here the lines. Yeah. No. Yeah. You, you must spend time creating the Creating the character. this character. Yeah. Because when I worked with... Uh, Oh, there was a, a lady director at the market theater mm. when we did he, he, he Kill Up and Die. And we uh, sat on the table, created Kill Up and Die. Jeez. There was no script uh. whatsoever. And then she told us, Suguti, create a person, tell us where she comes from, mm. tell us who is she, how many kids if she has. Wow. You know, all this kind of, where is she working? And so all those things you have to think, okay, mm. if she's a nurse, she's working at the hospital, how many hours is she working? How many, you know, all those kind of things you need to be able to know when you, when, when you get on the paper. You know how to Already you know, you know, Guti, this person does this. Do you know, I, I, one thing I, I pick up talking to actors, which is a, a privilege that I have, to now that I do this, I realize that there has to be a mental reference. You yes. have to have a reference yes. of either someone or something that you may have been exposed to. Yes. Am I correct in making that? No, you're, you're correct. You're correct because uh, not long ago, 
I I played a part of of uh, a lady who comes from exile. Okay. It was called the Situnzi. Uh. And I mean, I've never been to exile. And this this lady lived with men, mm. right? Mm. And the life she knows is just being with men. And when we were sitting reading the script, I realized that this this woman needs to be like a man. Mm-hmm. Because her whole life, yeah. this is how she lived. And then I asked the director, can I shave my hair? <laughs> I shaved my hair. I wanted to wear men boots, like. Yeah, be. Be like. Masculine, yeah. yeah. Is that why your hair short now? No, it's been short. Okay. Uh, well, it's been short because it doesn't grow. Oh. Because uh, I was in an abusive relationship with my husband. Ooh. My first husband. And she actually, uh, I used to live with Amadrets. Okay. Ama, Ama Braids. Mm, mm. And he pulled them out when he was fighting, when he was beating me. Oh. So, you understand? So, so you understand, Duguti, there's so much layers on this story. Hi, where are Nes? Finally, see, I know. I and now when, when before we started, we spoke about cameras that followed you around, <laughs> and and the footage you call somewhere in some it's, computer. Yes, it's all like, yes. ah, your life is too fascinating. Yeah, let let's go back to Romeo and Juliet. Mm. Uh, are you learning? Do you see yourself getting a becoming better and better? At yes, that, at yes, that stage. At that stage. Yeah, because it's, it's a different path now. It's like Shakespeare. Uh huh. Its language is it's very like, different. Very different. Two households yeah. in fair Verona, <laughs> where we lay the scene. Oh, Flip, I know only that part. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't even know <laughs> Romeo and Juliet, but I learned. You had to. Yes. Because it's a, it's a the language is very tricky. Yes. When you you just have to sing and dance with it until you get it right. Until you get it right. And and I'm I'm trying to to think that now the the actor the acting school mm. is the market theater for you. Yes, that's where I actually. I mean, I went there not knowing when a director say go left stage or right stage, mm. and then I would go. This is hey man, go. Hey. <laughs> so this is where I learned. My left, not your yeah, left. not your left. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> wow! So you're getting better and better and at better this. and better. And it was difficult to actually go on, on television because Why? because I used to project. Of course, you know, yeah, for so the audience. that so that a, a person who say balcony must hear. Uh -huh. And now when I started <laughs> with television, Rass. I would, ah, yeah, <laughs> so what? But, uh, whoa, whoa. I got, yeah, put the microphone up. <laughs> this is, it's closer to you, so <laughs> bring wow. it down. Yeah. Do, do you still feel like stage is a, a big part of, of what yeah. your life, even now? Very much. It, I love stage more than anything else well television and film and all that is money mm -hmm. yeah stage St is stage there's no money but what what, Theater, a, what does stage mean to you when you say television and, and film is money what is stage it's, to you it's actually making me feel witty. i've got my audience my audience here yeah because it, it, your emotions you they go with you mm. you know you take them they go <sighs> and then you bring them down wow you know, and then you feel like, yeah, I got you there. And then, you know. It's <laughs> <laughs> I like that. It's like, yeah. I got you. Pet. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you have a style, your, your acting style, that, that you draw from, that you know, ah, don't worry, Zoleta myself and I'll be good. What, what is that? Is there some, anything life. like that? life. Your life. I went, uh, I go to the archive, archive zone. Mm, in your. In my head. And I mean, even uh, the actors, ne? Mm. they would say, uh, this part, you have to cry and all that. Yes. And then the director would go, shh, 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 shh. give her five minutes. She needs to she needs find to the tears. Yes. Find, uh, uh You don't say that to me. I've got my, uh, my, my lines. I've got everything. I know where I am. Yeah. I said, let's go. <laughs> and... And it's not like I would cry immediately because oh. in real life, when you when you're sad, you don't just immediately cry. No. You start somewhere. 
and then it comes and it comes mm. and then i think of something that is really bad and then and you'll never stop me crying i would cry oh boy it becomes almost real yes or maybe it is real it is real huh. so every time we've seen your tears in that movie the a recent one about a year or so ago where your character passes passes away yes oh where you where you are your your the girlfriend and the former wife of your of your son are fighting for the state uh, or something and we have a chica uh, in in um, i don't know oh yeah that's 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 uh what? love not love lives here una una no no kanye no. i think yes yes yes, yes. That, yes. That, that 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 little moment and you that see you see you scene. see and you see where it started it did build it, up it went when yeah. i was in batetisa mm. and then i went pack these kids yeah it got <laughs> because i just thought of what's happening in my life with my kids oh so you drew it from your life mm. so so your event for life as crazy as this statement will sound comes in handy very much very much <laughs> it's, it's horrible but useful very pella i've just got uh, uh, united with my daughter the traditional healer daughter yes. so you were separated at some point ninga kulum eh what else is this <laughs> what else is this ah oh, what, what 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 without without going into too much detail maybe we can learn lessons you've learned from that separation what are the lessons <laughs> from from a mother daughter setup well the lesson here was for me coming from where i come from you know traveling and you know being here the next mm. month i'm there next year i'm there mm. i thought my grandkids should have a stable home i didn't want her to be traveling around with the kids and i i, I said i'm going i'm i'm leaving you i'm leaving you in the house and then i went and stayed a land when a flatin mm mm-hmm, mm-hmm. stayed a flatin and then i decided to go to be, because of the covid yeah and there was no work and then yes, i decided to mm, then i decided to go back home mm-hmm. and then because i wouldn't be paying rent there i'm at yes, home and all that yes. yeah so this is how and then this is very recent yes huh. i got home may like, i've just finished a year in may Mm. Yeah. And Last you still year. oh do you still live? Yeah, I still yeah. live in Mdeni. Why why did you see the need to not to be sharing space with with her? It was like it's tembo. Okay. Do yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. With my daughter. Yeah. And both of us we don't have men. We don't have, it's not like she's jealous because there's a man here and But there's oh, a, men are, there's just certain tension is nuts. And have you solved it? Yes. She literally because I thought I'm not going to bother her mm. until it comes to her and she realize she's the one who called me said that's cool and she was crying says mama I know I'm a horrible person wow and now you're good we so good do you plan to live together no if there's a need I'm fine where I am <laughs> <laughs> you made it home <laughs> who who did you find when you went back to to MT? Uh, um, I found my brother okay. who's in drugs on drugs. I'm yeah. actually literally right now he's at San City because I had to call because he was he was arrested. Mm-hmm. Right? And uh he was on on probation. Okay? Right? And you can't do anything wrong when you're on probation. Yes, yeah. But he, he started taking drugs. Oh no. He started selling my things. and selling everything no spoons in the house no nothing empty and what and then i had to call a parole officer and i said listen yeah i'm done we can't do that i can't i can't do it anymore and now he's not with you no he's in is in san city yes. yes do you know if he's getting better i don't know and i don't care because i want them to i want them to keep him there until he realized yeah that what he, he, mm. he did he is wrong he called me yesterday mm. so she say are you coming tomorrow i said no i'm not have you been to see him yes i went once how was that it was okay he was 
he was high like a kite even in there yes oh boy. and then he was like yeah <laughs> you thought the drugs are not in here we've got plenty of drugs oh boy did he get any education no i i asked this because i I I always wonder there's a, we were shooting something for a government department about drugs and we interviewed these guys and it was fascinating they are their English is better than mine and they were completely high and they are called nyaupe boys yeah <laughs> in in ekas and I remember thinking whoa what a lost generation this is and he's is actually not young he's 52 Cho this is not a young person at no. all No Fortunately for us he has no kids. Yeah. So so clearly you you have first hand experience of how drugs can be destructive yeah. in a family setting. Mm. What 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 is your immediate observation about the people whom are just very close to you and they're using drugs? What did you notice? Yo. It actually it affects you more mm. than him because he nagazaz. Yeah. You know, he doesn't care. Uh-uh. All he wants he wants to be high. The next the next high. Yes. And he's looking around to go to what can I sell to be high? I mean, uh, at, uh, I I I had a problem with my knees. I I still have. Mm. So I had I'm a crutches. Yeah. So I had two sets of crutches. The blue ones and the silver ones. Uh-huh. So not long ago I'm looking in my crutches are not there, the blue ones. Oh. Wow. And then I asked him how where are my crutches mm, no mm. no there was a person only mele so I had to sell them to them. but <laughs> why don't they go to the hospital because they get them free they're hey. free so clearly he's not telling the truth no he's not telling the truth huh. and then he comes straight to me and says are you using the silver ones ow <laughs> <laughs> like a little child like, you know kids who ask you you eat ali yeah no but i think the brain is not functioning anymore no and at 52 over 50 using drugs you become a hobo he is actually a, a so where to hobo because that's what happens now because you're not a he goes and unblock toilets if they f- and get and he gets there with his hands like and then get money pulling ears and it's not like getting 300 rands or whatever that yeah. 50 rands is fine it's yeah, of course because it's going to get high wow man cuz i'm i'm trying to make sense of of a, an older person who uses drugs clearly there's many of them mm. and and they start at a relatively young age what intervention if you've done one do you feel there's more that can be done and should be done in society about this based on your first hand experience Yeah but it's it's hard. It's going to be very hard. Yeah. It's going to be very hard to actually take those people out of that thing. Because there there's something that I wanted to do in Dane. So I met this young girl mm. who's in the drugs. And you know how sweet talking they are. Of course. <laughs> and one day she comes to me and says, "You know mama, I'm doing this thing and and I said to her, "Well, this is what I want to do." I want to collect all of you guys mm. so that we can work together and try and see which way we can get to this. So mm. so I think that was a that was her plan to actually get into me. Oh. Because when I spoke like that and she says I got her. <laughs> Every now and again she would come with somebody. Oh mama, just look at her. She hasn't got family, she hasn't got this and she hasn't got shoes and and we It's want open. yeah and we want you know to come and help you here in the house clean and everything. So here my and this girl was wearing amateka tabugile tabugile. So I went and took my Pierre Denis mm-hmm. uh, uh, shoes yes, yeah. and gave to her. It gave her and a, a jean and a t-shirt and all ah, that. Ah, back to leave. But yes. Rim to leave. <laughs> Now, when I gave this other girl the things uh. and then this one says, "Let me see." <gasps> <laughs> you got to be a gardeni. Oh. But then they had a Ireland took thing is on it. Of course. Sheer. But you clearly picked up with I did. There was a unum shiga shiga. Yes, I did. But you, I just I played it. Did you pick it up early or or 
I know them. Oh, well, well, you were scammed at some I, point. Uh, no. <laughs> the person that really scammed me is my brother. Yeah. Yeah, my brother, yeah. But he made me realize, Uguti, drug people mm. will never be honest. How did he... I can imagine it's because you were more easier with him. But how did he get away with it when he was scamming you? Because he's my brother. <laughs> I'm thinking, no, maybe he's right. Maybe this, maybe... What was some of the scams, if you remember? Any? You know what he did? Uh. Uh, I used to send him with my uh, bank card. Okay. <laughs> this doesn't end well. When can we carry on? I don't know what he did, whether he gave it to these people, mm. the number. But foolish enough for them. They took my uh, bank uh, number, no, not the card number, card num card not number. not the ba not the one behind. Yes, because the one behind is it's the one the, that's dangerous. Absolutely, CVV number. Yeah, the three numbers, the, the small ones. Those are the most. Yes, uh, they're uh, tricky. Yes, yeah. But they took my bank uh, account number. Yeah, the the front. The front. Yeah. And um, you know how I knew there was his friend. That mm. was staying with us. Okay. He brought a friend. This friend ran away because he did something, okay. you know, for wherever, she, wherever he was. And then they went somewhere. He came back and says, Mom, Nand, do you know what your card number is somewhere written in one of the guys that are doing scam? Zama card, Zama pen card. <laughs> yeah. Who's telling you this? This him, friend. This friend, yeah. Not him. Because we are. Yeah. Yes. And I say, <laughs> Ah, you can't join it, yeah. Your name is there and you're the first one on the list. The old bankers. Bazun, bazun shy. Bang shy, but fortunately they couldn't get anything. Because yeah. what I do with my bank, I've got other accounts. Mm -hmm. So every time when the money comes in, I we trust, move it. I yeah. move it. Yeah. So there it stays empty. That's it, yeah. You know? <laughs> That's very smart. <laughs> they don't find anything. No, they, they don't find yeah, anything. Yeah. And my card got blocked because they tried they trying. again and yeah. again and it didn't happen. He obviously, I'm assuming, or what did you find out? Would he sold the, the card to Yes. Yar. And when I asked him, how how did it get there? And he says, I, I don't know because I was with uh, Uchabu and when I went to the bank and maybe he saw it, mm. you cannot, when I got my card and I put it there, wow, how do you see? Anything I'm doing. Obviously, you gave them. Of course, he never said yes. No, he never said yes. Says, I says, how can I do that? So you, you, you're, not, you, you're not seeing... If you were for a second Minister of Social Development <laughs> for a second, how would you tackle tackle this problem? And I'm asking you because we born we are born two days ago. It's like you know this problem firsthand. I must admit, I drugs, I don't know the experience of it firsthand at all. I have no very little reference. Because you you the statement you said earlier was, hi, it's going to be hard. It is. Because I'm thinking right now, with even my minister, how is he going to do it? How, how, how will they actually tackle it? Yes. Where do you start? Because even when you can actually get them all in one place, still they're still going to carry on. Yeah. Okay. Happier things. Let's go back to, to acting. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back to acting. What, do you, what, are, what is your career? Hap What's happening in your career now? Romeo and Juliet. Are you getting more and more work? Yes. You're becoming From a Romeo and Juliet, I did so many things. Uh. I traveled overseas with uh, Kellap and Dai, with Sophia Town, with The Eagle, with Horn of Sorrow. I mean, I went to Are you Edna. a hot favorite? I used to be. <laughs> okay. Before the Ilendo e e pandemic. Uh. I mean, I never had a head e e agent. Uh -huh. When I was, you know, starting at the market okay. theater. And then I decided, mm, because I get calls. So what's the point of having a, mm -hmm. a agent? agent yeah. So for years, I've been doing it myself. Jeez. Everything that you see on television, I did it myself. You picked up the call yourself. Yes. You they called me directly. Direct? Whoa. Is that a good idea? 
Well, it was good for me yeah. because everything that I have is cash. I don't have scholarly anyway. Jeez, yes. So there's no an share. No. No agent. No, no, no. What made you make that that very big decision? It's because people were phoning me. Yeah. I never had a problem of staying without work for a while. For a while. And I worked in zone 14, gas lamp, zone kelezos in dollars. I just got them like that. One after another after yes. another. The only thing why I mean I've, I have an agent now mm. is because Una Shoda actually hijacked me. <laughs> <laughs> how did that happen? <laughs> with with this land or how to ruin Christmas. Uh -huh. mm. How how did how did Because e e land or e e I think we're only two older people, we agency. Mm -hmm. It's me and uh, uh, okay, get mm -hmm. smoke. Yeah. The older people, because first it was Somizi's mother. Okay. Or the, or one of the older. One of the older yeah. people. Yeah. So every time, all, all the old stuff, you mm. know, old roles yes. she used to get. Wow. But at that time, I was not in, under them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then until they got this this call, yeah, audition, and then she called me. And said, hey. Mama Nandi, you know, there's this thing. This, 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 are you willing to go and audition? And I said, yeah, no, I'll go. Mm. And that's when they started being my agent. Do you know, and, and, and this is a running uh, theme on this, on this uh, show of ours, that older established legends like yourselves should they still be auditioned well i think the young up and coming uh, directors producers are lazy to to google <laughs> basically <laughs> basically that's it <laughs> they are lazy to google how much because if they have a certain character and they see all the different characters that you've played, obviously they would go, I think she'd be okay for this. Yes. Have you found that you get typecast at all? Well, I used to. Uh. Yeah. But now it's actually, it's changing. Yeah. It's changing. What, what character were they? A mother all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Say it like you don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> no, because, I mean, and the thing is, I, I did all different mothers. <laughs> I'm interested. She was five, over four. What are what are different mothers? A bad mother? What are different mothers? A very different, a very soft mother. Uh, a very like in the middle. Uh, like uh, a very hateful mother. Yo. A very uh, 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 mom-in-law. Okay. Hell. Oh, you've done that. <laughs> You've been the mom in law from hell. Yes. So I've played different moms and different gogos and different. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> do you like any of these characters? Yes. Yes. You do? I liked, yes, I liked them. Yeah. I mean, I've played the Umundone Alzheimer's. Jeez. Where I've never been, I've never had. Of course. I had to actually uh, find Ama Ama Lento films. Mm, to understand. To understand what is this. Going back to being auditioned, does it bother you? No, it doesn't. Is it because you're used to it or, or uh, they don't know me and that's fine? Yeah, because I mean, right now, because our, our industry now is spreading, mm. going overseas and all that. So people overseas don't know you. Yeah. You know, so obviously those are the people that you go and audition so that they can see who this person is. Exactly. Yeah. Any any role that you've thoroughly enjoyed? Because you've done so much work. I would I would hate, you know, imagine talking to humans again and you're asking about album after album after album. It's like, dude, come on. <laughs> so so any role that you said, you know what, I'm this I'm enjoying. Or or it keeps crossing your mind once in a while. It's like, those are interesting, fun times. Is there anything like that with so many years of doing television and 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 theater? Yeah, well, my for for television, the one that I feel with yeah, I've actually I was totally a, a different person. Mm. Is this tunes? Tell us about that experience. Where I, I worked with uh, Utusombedu. Yeah. Yeah. 
and this no no Yeah, these young four girls who were called ninjas. They called themselves ninjas. And I was like a tough, tough, tough woman there. Yeah. Yeah. You enjoyed that role. I what enjoyed. is it about it that you liked? Because it just, it, it took me somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah. It took us, I, some of the things that I did there were not in my life. Mm. Mm. So that's new. That was new. You had no no reference. No reference for that. <laughs> that's something new. <laughs> <laughs> wow! And what did you what did you do then to to do to research for it? Because I wanted to know more about people that have been, and especially the ones that were at Mkondoesis or whatever. Those women that were like tough, tough, and yeah. you know, fighting for freedom. Yes, I wanted to know that, and I promise you. And I changed my voice. That too. My voice was, I was like a man. Deep voice. <laughs> <laughs> you completely took it in, eh? I took it in. I took it in. So that one, yeah. Yeah. Were there any lessons for you as a South African seeing and researching and finding out about that time in our history? What did you find? Well, it's, it's just that it's something that for me, Mm. If I told Muntangati, play a person who from 1976 mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. at home, I would play that like easily, easily because you have a reference. Because I have a reference. Yeah. Right? So this one I had to find out from people. Check. So how did you mm. guys live? How did you guys do this? You know those uka, kind of things. Ukamba, hey, ispa <laughs> Do you know something that that has become common in this in this on that chair? It's 1976. Yeah. So many people sat on that chair who were there. Yes. You are clearly one of them. Yes. Yes. Well, let's go there for a second. How old were you? How old were you then? I'm 26. At that time? Yeah. 1976. Yes. So you were quite alert. I was alert, darling. I was gijimaring. I'm a uh, uh, do you remember that, that yes, day? Yes. Uh, actually, take, seven, take us take us to that in your in your in your amazing storytelling <laughs> style. <laughs> Tell us that day for, from your perspective. Yo, yo, yo. It was bad. Mm. Yeah, that's torture la panata. Yeah. That's And uh, you know what I mean? I was very clever. I mm. waited for people to go and heat and open, then I get in. We have one of the to buy a loot. Yes. I know. Tina. It was. I. And um, my mother, who's a nurse in those lutil? Who's those whistle allows to take Oh, my mother. Yeah, she was hectic. She was so hectic. Says, not in my house. Return those things. It's last day. It's last day. Last I pull a lot my beer now. So what did you what did you loot? If you remember, I'm a beer. It's a loot to try. And I'm pussy long pussy at that time. Marie, I'm loot, Angie. I'm going to get Angie. My own figure, I'm going to loot to pull it away. You get in and you take whatever you want to take. What a day. What were you doing in your life at that time? Do you remember? Yeah, I was. <laughs> I was working my next door neighbor lady mm. got me ilento umsebenzinya na kumake makichi. Okay, okay. <laughs> this is before the acting, it seems. Yeah, no, it's in between. Jeez, okay. In between, <laughs> yeah. In like mang and umsebenzi. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, you know, yeah. go hold here and do that. And uh, I worked for these Italian people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I had to go there, do washing, clean, and all that. And then at the end of the day, they need they they're supposed to give me my money mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. it's there. It's a, it's a, it's like a peace job. Yes, yes. We told them more mm. choice. Yeah. And they say, "Now nah, come tomorrow." Uh. Okay. They and don't yeah. give you. They don't give me money. Hey, my daughter. Yeah. Okay, fine. Yeah. I went the next day. They're not there. Uh. They, oh. Yes. They the, left? No, they still live there, yeah. but no one is there. Okay. Yeah, but good night, Kelly. I went in. 
I opened Ilendo, I, I, I bath, a month. Uh, mm. I took a black polish, shoe polish. I took all the clothes. Whoa, you were angry. You were angry. Jeez. The walls. Whoa. Jeez. <laughs> I smeared the walls with polish. I never got paid. Still, never, still obviously. <laughs> obviously. Didn't you gently ask with Babu Yanin? No. <laughs> I, I was so angry because they should have actually left my money. Of course. Because they should they, have paid you yesterday. Yes, and they didn't to start yeah, with. Yeah. So the next day, they didn't leave my money. Wow. Manje? Manje, when's the line? Not I will show them. Mabangas. When Mamagavusi went back, they, they said, Yes, as you brought us a wool again. That woman, what she did, we actually had to uh, uh, throw away everything that she took. All the clothes that she put in the wow. In the they didn't. Bar. They didn't. Jeez, they spent more money than more money than what they're yeah, supposed they to give have paid me. You. Didn't well, of course probably not tell you why they never paid you in the first place. No, they, they just saw this little girl, and then they thought, ah, this one we're going. Yeah. It's okay. And 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 how does that connect to June sixteen? You're saying in, in that time. Yes, in that time. Doing. Yes, because I'm going to when Unga Konto Yenzai, you join. Mzabala. Oh, join Mzabala. And uh, my brother used to be a um, Matsuke. Eh? Uh. Aris Mozikson. Okay. Eh? And not Aris. What was he doing there? As a, as, as, a, as, a, as, as a student? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Conjure the, the age gap is yeah. quite, quite yeah. massive. Yes. <laughs> so you joined. Ah, I and joined. no wonder even the looting, yeah, it, is it a year ago or so? Uh, there were just too many people at home. Yes. That's what happened. Just too many unemployed. Unemployed people. Yes. It's likely to flare up and become that big. Yes. Nicer things. Go back to nicer things. <laughs> You're acting. Everything is nice. <laughs> <laughs> to you it is. To us it's fascinating. <laughs> I'm, I'm curious now to know that, you know, your, your, your career spends quite a long time mm. and consistent. Mm. And quiet moments happen as they do. But there's still fewer than the, the work you're getting. Why is that, in your in your opinion? Because I'm good. I'm sorry. So it's <laughs> no, no. That was the no, answer really. I was hoping for. <laughs> I'm, I'm being honest. That was the answer I was hoping for. Because you are good. Because I, I really, honestly, I don't know. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't be humble. Because we think you're good. We think you're incredible, actually. Yeah, no. Hey, you know, uh, since I'm in the industry, mm. I've never been nominated from Mama. I've been whatever awards, whatever uh, yeah. that they they the yes. only hey the only award that I had was the one that I was doing storytelling when yes, I was young. When you were much younger, you used yes. to do those TV storytelling yes. stuff. That's that's, that's that's thirty years ago. That's the only award that I have. You can see right now, Yini is after. Yes, all these. You see yes. how how they Oopies. actually Oopies up to buy taller hours yes. left, right, and center. Does it bother you? No. Why not? Because I get my hours in the street. Mm. When I meet somebody and say, "Oh my God, Mam Nandi, you remember that show that you did? Oh, it helped me doing this, 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 this." And then I say, "Now, nice." That's my award. Do you think there's politics? I don't know what it is. And doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to me. But you would receive an award if you were given. Y yeah. You're but not now, a, against I'm, awards. I'm not against awards. Yeah. But you see, the one that I got had money. When you were much younger? Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. We had money. <laughs> that was a different award. Yes, that was a different award. Yeah. I got the theater one. It had money. So you're that not just true. given a trophy. No. Yes. You get something that will go with that. So you're saying award, yes, great. But and, and that thing is not even gold. <laughs> that you can melt it and go and sell it. <laughs> like that. Makshubi. Makshubi. <laughs> you can melt it and <laughs> I I'm sorry. 
somebody they waiting to give me a, a, yeah, a, a posthumous old, award when a teeny, what do you call a it? lifetime a lifetime lifetime or most most mong echo if bafunuguti if bafunuguti ngife yeah because that's what they did to my friend unomhleng kwenyeni aha waited until unomhleng kwenyeni said to them okay you give me this award because you think i'm going to die jeez <laughs> i'm not going to die i'm going to show you You all these years I've been working hard mm. not even a single award now you give me lifetime yeah sorry and then he passed on what is your general perception of of this industry is it uh, whether good or bad is it sub, is it supportive of of people one who want to get into who are in there three who've been there for years it's uh, i this industry is hard shit Mm. It's hard, and I feel sorry for the young ones because now there are couches, kuma audition rooms. You know, oh. a director could go, okay, can you come back later? Ooh. So you know, mm. and I feel so sorry for the young kids because they get in there with the wrong reasons. Yeah, yeah. What What are the wrong reasons? Wrong reason is the couches. The couches. Mm. Huh. Because they think if I can give this one my <clears throat> uh-huh. then I'll be far away and then they end up nowhere. And they lose a lot because you do lo- you lose a lot. You lose yourself you, you and lose. then you you want to kill yourself. Yeah. Because you've passed with somebody who's got a wife and you just gave yourself there hoping for better. Mm. This industry is tough. It dog it's dog. Yeah. Are there ways around it? Can you still make it uh, without having if you have a uh, uh, with a strong will? Yeah. Because even on set, I mean, a person that is a, a, a cable basher mm-hmm. would go now nah, I'll make you famous. Oh. And then I've done it. If you're weak, yeah. If you're weak you go, hey, at least things on gain. Yeah, ngena ngalo. Bloody basher. Ngena ngalo. I remember uh, I, re- I remember um <laughs> cuz I've been in the SABC building for many many years 22 years now proudly gune card SABC everybody gets it if you if you work there it doesn't matter what job you do you will get a SABC card yes and apparently people used to use it uh, to get girls yes uti al atao ya mwana ngi SABC spana ngi spana da na ile card <laughs> so that still happens in oh. in production yeah. today 2022 like today like while I'm sitting here with you there's probably someone who's going through this yes. they have to decide whether they play along or not yes is it is it predominantly something that happens to women in your observation probably with men as well yeah huh. these are difficult times is the money good Well, money is good now for the young ones. Mm. So now we started with nothing, which is okay. We've paved the way, which is fine. And now they're getting umdani mm. akala and mm. then ends something like a, a day, probably about 5000 rand, which is something like to them it's like 5000 rand per yeah. call from nothing to from this. Nothing. Yeah. yeah. You know. You woke up in the morning and patanga luto. End of the day, you have five thousand rands. Yes, it's not bad. Maybe you are a lead or something, and then you there for maybe the duration of the shoot. Mm-hmm. You come out with two hundred thousand or three hundred thousand. You're thinking, yo, mpopile. Yes. You go and buy a BMW. Yes. You go and live in Santon. Yes. You go, you know, and forgetting Guti. That period that you've worked, you're still going to sit another a year without work. Is that common those long gaps? Yes. Really long. Long. Where I mean I I I, I last worked in no, October last year. That was my last big gig. That, that is did. worth anything. Yeah. Yes. October, October last, last year last is year. a year ago. Yes. Whoa. Then how do how does how does an act, actor make it then throughout that time in your experience and obviously in interacting with others? Well, it's you have to be you have to be thick. You have to be like mm, yeah. tough. Huh. Because when you don't 
your your life is still now. You can't go out and eat somewhere. No. You can't do anything. You can't move around because you don't have money to do that. And surely, and they they get depressed. I was about to say because because you're you're this famous person that everybody recognizes, but you can't even buy yourself a decent meal. No, surely that must be a huge burden. It is. Oh. I'm living with Ramaphosa's money. Uh. Ramaphosa, nigga. Ganja. One thousand eight hundred rand. Dende. Dende. me. Sound like my mom. <laughs> She's happy. <laughs> yes, because I mean, you don't right now. If I would love to actually have a lot of money so that I can travel. Yes. I like traveling. Yeah, but I I can't do that. So take this what what you you want to take what you get and live and live. So I guess also it goes back to when you said you move back home because it's slightly cheaper. Yes, and that became a a good idea a financially. Good idea financially, you obviously still hoping for bigger work. Yeah, because you're an amazing actress who's yeah. done work for yes. many years. Huh, that's industry me na yai saba me. What what are you saying to young young kids who want to get into it? Yo. But you see the thing is it's unfortunate because it's easier for them. But one thing that they don't respect mm. is time. Really? Yo. Time, time. Yeah, actually you guys were early. Well, there's a young lady that was here an hour before. <laughs> Put us all under pressure. Yes. <laughs> yes. And 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 then uh, who's obviously one of one of your 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 people. Yes. And then you came in at least fifteen minutes before. Yes. And the thing is, uh, you know, these kids, mm. yo, they're doing a good job. Yeah. What is their role? It's it's it, the place is called Actor Space. Mm -hmm. They do so many things. Yeah. They. They have auditions there. Yeah. They have, I mean, right now I got two gigs from them. What are you doing? What gigs are these? <laughs> <laughs> Is it TV work? Is it? Uh... It's TV work. Big ones. <laughs> and all because of, of them. Yes. No wonder, because we were told in planning this that no, that someone will be coming, measurements of clothes, it'll happen at, at, at our studio. Yes. And all and all and all. And all, because those measurements have to go overseas. Jeez. So it's not even a local gig. Mm. Movie? TV series? It's series. Netflix? <laughs> no, not Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> She's, is she saying yes? No. What do you know? <laughs> No. <laughs> oh, she's not telling. She's, well. We're not telling at the moment. <laughs> wow, man. This is but this is good though, isn't it? Very. Very. How is your 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 current state of mind? How about stuff? How about stuff? Life, South Africa, you. I'm okay. My state of mind is like mm. Mm. in work mode? I'm in work mode right now. I can't wait to be there. Because you're not young. I'm young. Well, you get you know what I mean. <laughs> in, in, hu in human age. <laughs> oh, yeah. Human age, you're not young. Yeah. Sure, there's a, there's a different planet where they measure it differently. <laughs> but yeah, 72 is, is, is not young. It's pa way past retirement age. Yeah. <laughs> I think, I think... Whoever is actually looking after me mm. can see what this one can go up to 150. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we've been told that the, the first human to live 300 years is probably alive right now. Well, there's you. There's me. <laughs> there's you. Mm. So your current state of mind is work. Is you wake up in the morning, you're looking forward to another gig. Yes. Like, like, like you are young. Like literally, like if I'm not working, I feel like something is missing. And you say it's happened quite a bit in the better part of this year. Yes. What happens to you and other actors? You don't know their lives that well, but surely you have a, a sense of it because you've been in the industry long enough. To an actor that is not working from morning to afternoon, 
what actually happens? A day in the life of a of an actor or actress who's waiting for for a call. Well, uh, you know, at the moment, people are doing their own jobs. Uh. They're writing their scripts. Like ah. I'm writing my own okay. things. You know, yes. you sit home and you and I'm doing it in the is the. Uh, exercise books. Yeah. So you just write your story. Whatever comes first, you you know you write it down. Mm, so mm. people now are creating their own work. And, and and if you can't, then you sit there and suck your thumb and wait for for a call, for a call. that may never come. That may never come because people are lazy to Google. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you know? Because I'm, I'm thinking, I'm sitting here thinking that. Why is it that now so many people are writing scripts? Is it because the industry is, is different, is opened up a little bit? Yeah, I think because it's opened up. I mean, there's Netflix, there's Amazon. Amazon is there's coming. Amazon, the Showmax. Yes, there's Showmax. Yeah. There's all sorts of places. So. Disney Plus, you name it. There's everything. Yes, there's, yeah. So. That is done well for. Yeah. There's, there's been a debate about royalties of actors. If you've appeared somewhere. Yes. We don't get that. What is your perception of that? Well, I mean, they sell your story. You, Uzumundo from uh, 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 Tanzania or wherever says, I've seen your film. I've seen this. And you didn't even get a cent. For that, for that. Tanzania distribution. Yes. Is, is it is it because we, we are... Because I'm thinking, the, the argument that always comes up in those moments is that producer puts in the time, the work, the money calls you mm. it's a job you come in you get paid like you were you, like you're working for a company they use your skill at that time and grant mm. you sign the contract that said you get nothing beyond this point mm. so you can't even blame them because you signed it. signed it yes then what do you say to to a producer saying i don't understand what's the fuss well it's it's like that fortunately the sabc Mm. actually try to actually fix that because yeah. we used to get them royalties. Yeah. I don't know whether they was, they still give out. Or not. Or not. But we used to get. I mean, I've chowed all 300,000 from. That you worked that, that you did that years ago. Years ago. So, yeah. That's pretty, that's pretty good. But I've never got anything from any other... A channel or whatever. Uh -huh. It was SABC. Mm, SABC. And, it, and, and if one is doing it, then others should be doing because the job is the same. Yes. You acted on a film and or whatever it is and it got played, it got sold. There should still be money yes. coming. I mean, I went to Namibia because I was doing a movie there in Namibia. Uh -huh. And they said, oh, I found <coughs> people watching Tales from Africa that I did in 1993. Hey, they're watching it now. <laughs> and you're thinking, ha! And you're they getting sold nothing. sold it, nothing. The production company sold it. The SABC sold it. Huh. Especially with the, with the children's stuff. Yeah, because uh, you did a lot forget, of that forget work. Forget about royalties there. You realize that you became the storyteller. Yes. The, the one who... Kids would be glued to hear you tell a, a story. Every two o'clock when we when we go up, yeah, kids would be sitting right in front of the television. I mean, I went to Durban, and Indians. Mm. <laughs> uh, I was like an Indian person. P Indians were like oh Indian superstar. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> what is that guy? <laughs> Arukh Khan. Is there someone like that? I'm they. Funny used to like their kids mm. to uh, make sure that they don't go to st in, the, in the street yeah make them at that time they're sitting there listening to stories incredible and you were the face of those, of those many many stories that kids grew up to mm. how did you get that gig do you remember yes i remember um i i that day I was supposed to actually go for audition. Uh -huh. But in the morning, my son, he was still young. Yeah. Uh, woke up and said, Mama, hey, I don't know. My my tulkis is, oh. is swollen and all that. Oh. And now I'm thinking, 
I'm going to be late for the auditions, and but I have to actually make sure go to my son goes right. to a doctor. Yeah. So I rush him to the doctor, and the doctor said because I I didn't have uh, anybody there, mm, mm. like a a, a father yeah, figure, oh, father Ooh. figure who would say no, do this and then it'll be okay. No. So when I got there, the doctor says, "No, it's because you no, know, you this you have to pull the skin, mm. clean it up, and all that. This is what you know." And I was so late. Oh. I got there and I was running, and I got there and I say, "I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry." I took my son, mm. and his penis was so, <laughs> <laughs> his penis was I, so late. Was so late, and I had to take him to the doctor, and now I had to take him back home, and all this kind of yeah. things. I got. You know, from that, I didn't even audition. You got from that. They said you got the part. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Thanks to the stolen penis. <laughs> <laughs> because I think the story was so real that you animated, animated in, in, in how you were telling yes. it. Yes. Wow! You became the face of two o'clock television. <laughs> and I worked with that woman for years since yeah. since then. Or oh, even after. And even after. Because that show was on TV for a while. Yes. Ikidio. We did Do you still Ikidio. remember any of the opening lines? Because you said it every day for so long. Oh. <laughs> well, if you can, that will be great. I promise you, it's all I'll ask you to do. <laughs> <laughs> I won't ask you to sing. <laughs> well, you see, the thing is, it was a, a, a kidio had mm. different, different segments. Yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So there was a song that was uh, playing. Your kids. What was it? Jeez. All right, I don't even know if I watched that stuff. Because he learned Timothy Treadle uh. had his own song. Uh. I woke up in the morning and uh, that one, yeah. right? Uh. And then he Donkey had his own oh, song. Oh, yes. You see, yes. and yeah. Every time the characters come in, at some point they will sing. Yes, it's a different. And I, uh, mine was with little girls. Mm, mm. That's so cool. Wow, man. Do you know, I wanna I wanna I wanna close up quickly. Acting with Busi must have been special. Mm. Uh, losing her so so young mm. surely must be devastating. What was your experience? Because it for us, it's probably one of her last great projects. Oh. What is your experience of one working with her and, and, you know, and the loss? The child was talented. Yeah. That we've lost somebody who's very, very talented. Who can sing, who can speak different languages, who can dance, and working with her. We would go on set. The script. Mm. <laughs> Not even a single day you would find our scripts. Really? We go there, we are ready to work. Wow. Because you because you had prepared. Yes. We, so not, not only was she, she was also professional. Yes. She was so professional. We go there and then we we hoy. Ah, you had a great time. We, it, uh, it looked like it, even on had, even on the screen. We had a wonderful time with a child. Yeah. I was devastated. I can only imagine. Because we were going to do, there was a project that we were talking about that we were going to do. And he left because he was going to actually make sure good to companies like big companies selling cars like o Volvo, mm -hmm. Obani, mm -hmm. they actually go, she, she was going to go and talk to them to say, <laughs> I have an old lady who needs a car. Yeah, Natanla, <laughs> how? What's wrong with you? Shame. And, uh, what a loss. Yo, what? I. Gone too soon, eh? Gone uh, very, very soon. Gone. Very, very. I miss her so much. Yeah, I can only imagine. So you became buddies even after that. Yo, yeah. I miss her so much. We would sit on that phone until the airtime's gone and then we <laughs> buy again and then we carry on. <laughs> carry on. For two, three hours, we would be sitting there chatting mm. and she was going to get me a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> She sounds like a young daughter of yours. Yes. She says, no, 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 you can't. You can't. Without a man. Never. I'm going to get you a nice man who's going <laughs> to. You know, we, we, we're slowly running out of time. Yeah. How has how is, how is, uh, acting treated your life? You know what? It made me respect people. 
Mm. It really did because we're, there's so many different people on set. Yeah. And you can't take for granted to go to Lomuntu Yashanyala because when I, you did your script, mm. but there's a person who sweeps mm. that floor so that when you get there, everything's clean mm. for you. Mm. Mm. Those people that are uh, setting up are special because you won't be able to set up when. Yeah, you don't know how to. You don't know how to. <laughs> yeah. Huh. So yeah, it made me respect people. Yeah, and don't take people with you yeah, because she's a sweeper, no, or because she's a tea girl or whatever, no. Mm. Because you wouldn't be getting that five minute tea without that person. That's true. Huh. That's a. I didn't expect that. <laughs> Not that you are different, uh, because because the the basis of my question also was had to do with if acting has been a good life for you. Yes. And because I respected my craft. Yeah. I respected my craft. I made sure, you know, when they fetch me Xen, mm. say for instance, we're going to start at Lendo, maybe I'm, I'm first one to be fetched at half past four. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. They find me outside. Hey, okay. Waiting. Wow. And then we'd go and fetch a young one somewhere. They're still sleeping. Oh. I'm sitting outside huh. in the car. Waiting. Some, even a uh, 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 close uh, phone, Nguti, don't phone me. Bangam, bangam bangam through, through. Yes. Jeez, that's incredible. I didn't realize that's what happens. Maybe that's why some of us are on radio. We have to be on time whether on we time. like it or not. Yes. And the thing is, they don't understand what every minute. Every minute is money. It is. It, well, it's it's costed per minute. Yes. Productions are cost per minute. Per minute. Every yes. minute. Incredible. If you lose that, if you're supposed to be on set at half past six, yeah. already when you start at seven o'clock, that 30 minute mm. money is gone. Yes. Completely. Either the production company or the network that's, yes. that's, that's televising that. Here's our concluding question. What do you think about love? Love. You've had such a dramatic life. I'm very scared of love. Why? I've been in different, like, really bad times. Yeah. Yeah. So love didn't... It scares me so, so much. You realize that there's technically nothing wrong with love. It's the people we find. I know. Yeah. But you see, the thing is, Mina, I love very hard. Mm. You bring everything. I, I bring my all. Jeez. I bring my all. I actually said to my ex-husband, if you love women so much, why don't you take maybe 20 of just be with them? Mm. Why, do, why do you have to go and sneak out and, and tell people that I'm your aunt? What? <laughs> Is that what happened? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Is he young? <laughs> he wasn't young. <laughs> Oh, you know, we had a land landline. Yes. And these girls would phone. So one day I decided I'm going to ask this one. Uti. Uti, tell me, does it does he tell you to uh. He says, no, to shala no aunt. Yo, yo, yo. And who aunt? Him aunt. Ask his man. I have to apologize on behalf of No, you man. <laughs> <laughs> if we tell, if we call our wives our auntie. And my second husband did that. Went to Cape Town to go and work. He comes back with a woman with a big suitcase like this, full of clothes, right in our house. Uti in I was in Ndombi, so I have to actually stomach it. You clearly didn't. That's why he's an ex-husband. Yeah. I thought, no, no ways. Are you still open to love? <laughs> yeah. How? And it's a fun chat. So you're still open completely. But you're scared so, of it, but you still. Yeah, I'm open, but I'm scared because I don't know what's going, what I'm going to find. Why do you still want to, want to marry? Like, why does it matter? I, it doesn't matter. I just want to feel, you know. Uh, <laughs> but you know, the thing is, I want a very rich person. Oh, yeah. And be treated like a queen. Uh -uh. Because born I was like a wake, I was like a, a, a breadwinner for them. Oh, flip, yes. So you want a new I'm story. I'm done with being a breadwinner. 
I wish you I wish you a breadwinner. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you a breadwinner, and I wish you many, many big productions. Yeah, thank you. Because I think I we are. See. Yes, I think we are very lucky to have had you as part of our story as South Africans. Yes, and and that's why we want to see more. You know, when something is nice, <laughs> we nengo Yeah, Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's why I say I wish you much, much more. Do you have ambitions outside South Africa? Yes, oh. I and. I need to actually get a very big role overseas where I play something different. I don't know what it is. Yeah. But something big. Something big. And the world has opened up quite a bit to up. South Africans, yes. to to Africa. Yes, yeah. I mean, here's my friend Ubegu uh, Wakanda forever. Mam Kon, yes. You see? She sat on that chair. Yeah. She says in America they call her a different name. Yes. She's Kani. Miss Carney. Hey, Connie, Miss Connie. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she loves being Miss Connie. <laughs> wow. You actually remind me a lot of her. The yeah. same energy, you know, very yeah. happy personality. Too much. But to me, you're a star, and I truly, truly appreciate Thank you. Thank you. I yeah. receive. I, I, that's my award. Yeah, because we, we see you. Yeah. We we see you, and, and that's why... I, I I asked for for you to be here because we absolutely see you. And you see those kids. Yeah. Did a very big thing for me. We did Elendo for my, for my birthday mm -hmm. on the nineteenth. Now now yes. recently yes. Yes. They went and we did a photo shoot. Wow. And then after photo shoot, they took me to a restaurant. Oh. And they said. Eat as you like, as much as you like. <laughs> yes. Drink as much as you like. Wow. And it just carried on. My birthday was just... It's still on. It's you're, still you're on You're celebrating now. Atuta to Mandel. <laughs> it lasts the whole year. No. <laughs> and they took me for massage. Wait. And, you know, it's just amazing. Wow, you're in I, good hands. Mm, I took my head for those... Yeah. <laughs> do they say why they're doing this? Because they're celebrating me. Yes. They see you. Yes. Oh, Mam Nand, you're a star. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. We are we are we are so pleased that you're trusting us with your story, with your life story, with your fascinating life story. <laughs> what? And I bet you we're missing a lot of parts. A lot. A lot, a lot, a we lot. We didn't dissect the marriages. No. How they broke. Clearly, there's a lot there. There's a lot. <laughs> well, we'll hopefully have another one someday soon. Thank you so much. <laughs> My pleasure. We're out. Thank you very much. King, King David Studio Podcast.